Shalom, hi, and welcome. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I have been getting a lot of questions on how I'm living out here in Japan. So I just thought I'd do a, a tour of my home. This video will also be beneficial to any military or DOD members coming to Yokosuka, Japan. So stay tuned. like a townhome. It's called Sakura Residence for anyone interested in moving here. They have many different models. They have three bedroom, four bedroom, and I think a two bedroom. So let me show you around. Of course this is the dining area as you can see. So living in Japan you don't have a lot of space, a lot of storage. Uh, we were coming from a five bedroom house now to a three so we had to like declutter. <laughs> um, so as you can see right here, I had to put all of my appliances onto a shelf. Luckily we had the shelf because if not, I don't know where these appliances would be right now. Also in Japan, they, um, the trash, they separate their trash. So we have a, a different trash day for every day of the week. This is all throughout the area, um, not just us. Okay, so um, I'll finish showing you the kitchen. We were worried about the refrigerator here in Japan because we heard they downsized everything and smaller. Luckily, this place has a pretty decent sized refrigerator. As you can see, pretty decent. Um, check this out, Minute Maid Aloe, this is a vegetable drawer and freezer. Um, we were also worried that we wouldn't have an oven because not a lot of Japanese houses have ovens. But luckily here they um, accommodate us with a full oven and stove. And thank goodness it came with a dishwasher as well. Alright, so let's move on. shower, toilet sink, you know, everything you need. Alright, and we were worried that our furniture would not fit in here, but we made it work. So as you can see, we have a two-piece couch set, and it fits perfectly fine. Of course, it goes out into the floor, but hey, it works. And then, I think this is called the love seat, right? Yeah, love seat, you know, entertainment center, and bookshelf. And we were even able to fit our newest member of our household up here. Moving on to one of the three bedrooms. This is the twin boys bedroom. Um, excuse the mess, they're boys. <laughs> um, so originally we had a triple bunk bed in here. Um, as we took it off and we moved the other bed downstairs. It fit perfectly fine, it's just I didn't want three boys in a small room. Um, so yeah, this is their room. The closets are not as big as you would expect them to be, but we made it work. We got some shelves, put it in here for extra storage, and you know you have a top and a bottom. I've had no complaints from the boys, so clearly it works pretty fine. Before we go downstairs, take a look at uh, my husband's so far he got. It's made in Israel. I'll let my son do the honors. Go ahead, show him what you're working with. So they provide the washer and dryer here at Sakura Hill. Like I said, it is a washer and a dryer all in one. So they have different settings where you can just wash, you 
can just dry or you can wash and dry. Yes, it is in kanji, one of the Japanese alphabets. They provide instructions on how to work it. I've become a pro. We've also provided this area as our storage area because like I said, we moved from a five bedroom to a three. So we have loads and loads of storage in here. Moving on. This is the eldest right here, Kyrie. Say hey, Kyrie. Hello. Moving on into my youngest two bedroom, Kendrick and Alina. We were able to fit a full size bed in here as well as a toddler size and a full dresser. So we were happy for that. Of course, you're gonna see a lot of these around here because like I said, moving from a five bedroom to a three, we have loads and loads of storage. We were happy that all closets were provided in each bedroom in Sephora Hills. But what they didn't tell us is that we would have to make it a closet ourselves. You'll see what I'm talking about. So there was no shelf provided, nor was there anything uh, to hang your clothes on provided. It was just a concrete space. So I had to, you know, use my ingenuity and make it into a closet. Um, so I put up a little pole to hang up their clothes boy boxes in the back here now this goes deep like but it goes at a slope because it's under the stairs but uh we were able to fit some of our storage here toy boxes hang up some clothes and it worked out for us all right and that is the little one's bedroom moving on to the master the master is a decent size um we were able to fit our king bed as well as our dresser and of course we have a keyboard here a little a small couch for you know lounging and of course plenty of room for all of our storage stuff this here is a hat that we got at mount fuji unfortunately we were not able to climb all the way to the top but we drove about halfway up the mountain and visited some of the stations there which is where we got this hat from. Pretty neat. This is, I don't even know what to call this area. This is our foyer area to either go into the bathroom or the closet, which provides plenty of storage. Has shelves in here. Check out the Japanese Kit Kats. I stocked up on so many flavors. Here in Japan, they have so many flavors out here. This is red bean paste, which is like their Japanese dessert. We got cheesecake. We got sweet potato. We got chestnut. And we also have flavors like cookies and cream, leche, banana. That was my favorite. But anyways, back to the storage area. Of course, plenty of shelves here. We put our blankets, towels, all that good stuff. On to the closet. Now the closet was huge, but of course, like I said, three, five bedroom to a three bedroom, this is like all of our storage because we don't have anywhere <laughs> to put it in this small place. Um, but before we got had all this stuff here, we you know hung our clothes here, and the closet was nice and open. Um, you got a shelf. Um, yeah, excuse our food. We stocked up, you know, during the pandemic. Got to make sure we have the supplies that we need. <laughs> but um, the closet is a decent size if you don't have a lot of clothes like we do. <laughs> All right. And of course, we have these on like every door here because I don't know why we have so many shoes. And last but not least, this is the bathroom. Got a tub, shower toilet oh let me show you something so here in japan you don't just have hot water you, you can't just turn on the water and the water is hot they have a heater temperature located here on the wall when you want your hot water you turn this on and you can adjust it to the temperature that you want and you just wait for it to heat up and that's your hot water this is in every room that has running water all right so that was the inside. Let me show you the outside. So while we're outside, I'll be showing some of the school bus areas. 
parks and the close by or the nearby market. We're going to pick up the kids from the bus stop. Here they come. There's also a little path where you can go to walk your dog or, you know, walk yourself. But down here are parks as well. It's a playground almost on every corner out here in Japan. take the same bus it's a very nice shuttle bus so they ride in comfort and then of course across the street here is another park because there's parks everywhere right here is the Japanese market so it's like your local grocery store they have mostly all needs and necessities and I'll show you what's down the hill come on Kendrick so I'll show you one of the cool things in Japan. They have vending machines almost on every corner, but their vending machines are a little bit different. You see the red, and then you see the blue. Red, red means the drinks are already hot, and blue means the drinks are cold. So on a nice cold day, you can press a button for some nice hot coffee or milk tea, and you'll be good. All right, let's go. So right behind the market, you have the 100 yen store, which is also known as the Japanese dollar store. And then right next to the 100 yen store, you have the pharmacy. So you have your market, dollar store, and pharmacy all in one area. Can't beat that. And within walking distance. Can you go back inside the house? So here in Japan, they don't jaywalk. You have to follow the rules of the road. So if it's red, you stop. If it's green, you go. Even if there's no cars on the road. <laughs> you can run. Three. Go. Come on, Stinky. pavilion that has a little history on this area it's a nice little stream that you can also walk by but it's just a nice peaceful area that you could explore Come on, guys. this building is the Japanese elementary school your kids can only go here if they speak Japanese from what I've seen Japanese children are very active um, here almost almost every night they have some type of game going on, whether it's basketball, volleyball. They have, they always have some type of activities going on at the school. So if you're out here, I would say get your kids involved in some extracurricular activities. They'll appreciate it. Okay, 
and we are coming back to Socorro Hill. Now I wanted to show you the shuttle. It's a shuttle that's usually right here that takes you to base in the morning, to and from base in the morning, and to and from base in the evening. So if you decide to move here, you pretty much don't need a car. If you decide to move to the Socorro Hill area, you will be accommodated. You don't need a car, like I said previously, there's a shuttle that will take you to and from base in the morning and the evening. You have everything you need nearby, the market, the pharmacy, even the dollar store. And there's parks everywhere. This is a good area for any military members or DOD members. If you're not military and you just wanted to see how I live, I hope you enjoyed. And if you are military or DOD, I hope this was very helpful for you. See you next time. Bye. Say bye-bye. Say sayonara. Sayonara.